everyone, this is Doombreaker again and I'm here with another tutorial for you guys. Um, this is a tutorial on multi-threading. Uh, it's a very complicated topic so I'm going to explain it as good as I can um, to you. So, first of all I've created this little program to show you what multi-threading multi actually does. So I have uh, two windows here a single thread one and a multi-thread one so all the buttons do the same thing they just uh, let this label and this label and this label and this label count to 10,000 I think so uh, if I press start here it's going to count if I press start here it's going to count So um, while it's counting, um, I'm going to explain what multi-threading actually is. So um, I can best explain this by starting out explaining what a thread is. So a thread is basically a sort of environment where code is being processed. So um, to give you an example of sports, for example, if you have a basketball ring, and you throw in two basketballs at the same time maybe one of them is going to go in the ring and the other one is going to bounce off somewhere or none of them is going to go in the ring and they are both going to bounce off well you can basically see the basketballs as code and the basketball ring as the thread so um, one thread can only do one thing at a time so that's why you need multiple threads to do multiple stuff at the same time so if you uh, do something on a form uh, it's going to go on the main thread which is uh, the form thread but if you create multiple threads you can do multiple things in the same form without having it lagging so um, while telling this the multi-thread uh, form is done and if we do this with single thread now we press start so everything is normal now but as you can see we can't click this we can't click anything really so the whole program just froze and it's going to stay frozen until it's done counting so um, there's really no way for us to stop this now uh, luckily I'm debugging so I can just press stop debugging and everything is fine but if you were a customer you would need to go to um, what was it called um, the the thing you go to when you press ctrl alt delete well that um, task manager yes and that uh, you would need to uh, end the task from there so it's really annoying uh, it can lead to lag and such things so um, I'm going to show you how to do this so to start we are going to go to the uh, single thread this is not necessary um, so what happens is uh, 4 as 1 as integer is 0 to 10,000 so this is just um, the thing that's going to count from 0 to 10,000 and it's going to show it in label 1.txt and it's going to refresh it every time so if you don't put this piece of code in uh, it's just going to say zero and when you press start it's going to remain zero until it's 10,000 and then it's going to show 10,000 but we don't want that we want to show every individual number so that's why this is here and then um, as you can see all this code is in a public sub so you can create uh, different subs and um, when we click the button one here it's going to start this sub so um, this is pretty hard to explain but if you click button one it's going to do everything that's in here so I could just uh, copy this to here and delete this and it would work just uh, the same so um, but if we go to the multi-threading you can see some differences so 
all the code is in a sub just like in single thread but instead of calling the sub in the button uh, we say t1 you can name this whatever you want is equal to a new thread address of me dot multi thread one so multi thread one is the name of your sub so your code has to be in a sub for multi threading to work and then you just start the sub uh, to do this all this you need to um, import a namespace called system.threading and you also need to define your thread so if I would create a thread I would say dim for example thread as thread and then I can say what this thread is here and it just does the same thing but in a different thread so um, also to make sure none no um, no errors are caused you can say in the load section me dot check for illegal cross thread calls is equal to false it's just to uh, fix some errors you might have so um, to recap if you want something uh, to do uh, if you want your program to do something for example you want it to count to 5000 and you want a different counter to count to for example 4000 you can't make them count at the same time because as I said with the basketballs you can only do one thing in a thread but if you create multiple threads so create multiple basketball rings you can do them both at the same time so um, to do this just import system.threading um, define your thread then say what the thread has to do and start the thread and that's basically all you have to do so if you would uh, like um, for example um, let me think um, yes uh, for example you would make a, a timer and it would tick every second uh, and you would also display the seconds the computer is going to do that but with a little delay because it needs the time some time to uh, display the text on your form and that way it's not an accurate timer and you might need some multi-threading in there so um, I hope you guys uh, know a little more about multi-threading I know it's not that good of an explanation but it's an explanation because it's a pretty hard topic so um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video please press a like press subscribe if you want to subscribe to my channel and want to see more tutorials like this and uh, I see you see you all next time also uh, you might be happy to know that I changed my schedule and I'm now going to post a video every Sunday and I'm also going to post a video every Wednesday so stay tuned for that Bye.